This is the X6 handset. We're going to talk through some of the basic functions and features of this handset to become more familiar with its operation. You'll see down the, down the side here, we have 24 programmable keys. We're using these to show some of the other extensions on our equipment today, but we can scroll between two different screens. So that gives us the ability to monitor on this phone 24 other users to see whether they are available to take calls or not. To make an internal call, we simply press an extension number and we'll hear another phone ring, which I can answer. And that's us connected and made an internal call. We could have picked the handset up. I've answered it on hands-free just to make it easier to watch. So I'll hang up on our other phone. Receiving a call, an internal call from another user is um, very simple. We can see who's calling. We've got a call coming in from Ian and we can pick up the handset to talk to Ian. So that's making and receiving internal calls. I'm going to push an external call into the system now so we can look at holding and transferring calls. So we can see we've got a call coming into the main ring group and we've got the caller ID of the person who's calling us. I'm going to pick up that phone to answer the call and I'm now speaking to the end user. If I need to pop them on hold, then I can just press the hold key. I can either keep the handset in my hand or return it to the cradle. And when I'm ready to retrieve that call, I just press the resume key on my flexible buttons at the top. It's worth mentioning, as you'll notice, that the options behind these four buttons under the screen will change depending on what you're doing on the phone at the time. If I needed to transfer a call to another user, then again, I'm going to transfer a call over to Ian's phone. I'm going to press Ian's button. Ian's phone's going to ring and Ian answers the call. When I'm ready to transfer that call, I simply press the transfer button and that call has now been transferred to Ian's phone. I can put my handset down, I'm back to normal. I can see Ian's on the phone because we've got a red light instead of a green light next to his extension. And when Ian does hang up the phone, then we can see it's immediately going to return back to green. If I tried to transfer that call and Ian wasn't able to take the call, then we're going to give that a go as an example as well. So I answer the call from the outside world. I go to transfer that call through to Ian. Ian answers the phone, but he says he's not available to take that call, so Ian hangs up. All I need to do to re retrieve the call now is press the resume key to bring that person back off hold. So there are your four basics. We've gone through making, receiving, holding and transferring. So let's go through some of the other buttons on this handset. We're going to start by talking through the display. So we can see we've got a call log at the top here. That's going to show our last 20 made, received and missed calls. And you can see that we can scroll through that list using our arrow key at the top to find out uh, which calls we want. When we find the person we want to call back, we can simply scroll down the list. Ian's been very popular today. Click on either OK or Dial and that will return that call. Next to that, we have our contact list. The phone system has the ability for us to update a configuration, which just hope that upgrade doesn't take long. There we go. We can update a list of phone numbers in your phone as frequently as we need to so that you can make and receive calls off of your own contact list. Next to that, we have the Do Not Disturb button. We can see when we go into Do Not Disturb because we get a little Do Not Disturb symbol appear on the screen. While we're in Do Not Disturb, whilst we can still make calls, we can't receive either internal or external calls until we turn Do Not Disturb off. The menu key gives us the ability to control everything else on the screen. So if we decide to go into our basic settings, we can go in here and change things like screen brightness, our, our ringtone, our ring volume, the length of time the screen stays lit before it goes into idle mode. All of those sort of things can be personalized here, but you are only changing the settings on your own phone. You're not fiddling with the settings on anybody else's. So let's talk through some of the other options here. We have two rows of shortcut keys to start with on either side of the navigation panel. We have our phone book shortcut, so we can press that button to dive straight into our contact list. And below that we have a shortcut button that's going to allow us to go straight into our missed calls. We have hold and transfer buttons here. You'll notice with all of these keys, I've not really been using them as we've been going through this demonstration at all, but instead I've been controlling everything just by these four context sensitive keys as we've been going. But if you choose to hold and transfer using dedicated buttons, then we have the option. 
If you want to set up a multi-party call, we have a conference key here. We can set up a multi-party conference for up to six other users so that we can all exchange ideas at the same time. Down the side of the phone, we have our voicemail button. Voicemail can be accessed very straightforward. You simply just press the button. Please enter personal identification number, then e press hash. Enter your PIN number. You have no messages. And from within our voicemail then, we would be using it in the same way that we would our mobile phone voicemail, in that we can tailor any of our settings and our recordings. The phone is fully headset compatible, so you can see we have a headset answer and hang up button here. We can plug a headset either directly into the back of the phone, or we can use the phone's inbuilt Bluetooth in order to use a Bluetooth headset. Below that, we have our shortcut to our last number redial list. Please enter personal identification number. Looks like that button's been deprogrammed, so apologies for that. Um, we have our speakerphone button here, turns our speakerphone on and off. And then next to that here, we have volume control. So the volume control buttons will change the volume based on whatever you're using on the phone at the time. If you are using the earpiece, it will turn the earpiece volume up and down. If the phone's ringing, it will turn the ringer up and down. And of course, we have the mute button in the middle to put the handset on mute. Do keep in mind when you have a user on mute, they can, it turns the microphone off in the handset and they hear complete silence. If you think you're going to be away from the desk for more than, say, 20 seconds, try to get in the habit of using the hold key so at least they know they're not being cut off. That completes the short instructional video of the X6 handset. I hope you found it useful. If you have any other questions, then drop us a line and we'll be happy to help.